A humanoid robot from China has just set a world record of being the first humanoid robot with an AI brain. Just recently, Chinese company Furrier Intelligence revealed its first humanoid robot, the GR1, a groundbreaking creation set to redefine rehabilitation and support. This humanoid robot is a true game changer with its amazing feats, making it a strong competitor amongst other humanoid robots in the robotic industry. But here's the big question. Is the AI brain the only standout feature with this humanoid robot? Well, you'll have to stick around to the end to find out. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Furia Intelligence's journey began in 2015 when they set out to create rehabilitative robots in Shanghai. By 2019, they had gained recognition in the field of rehabilitation equipment. However, their ambitious vision led to the development of the GR1, which reached a milestone in 2022 by walking on two legs. This humanoid robot is born out of the demographic challenges China faces, with a growing elderly population and a shortage of caregivers. The GR1 is an innovative response to these issues. With its strength, agility and programmability, it aligns perfectly with the evolving healthcare landscape, bridging the gap between caregivers and those who require assistance. CEO Zenko emphasizes the GR1's versatility, envisioning it as a multifunctional entity capable of caregiving, therapy assistance and companionship for the elderly. It's a remarkable step in the development of humanoid robots, blending joint flexibility and torque generation to surpass its contemporaries. The GR1's physical specs are impressive, with a top walking speed of 5 km per hour or 3 miles per hour and 40 degrees of freedom in its joint structure. It uses electric actuators for precise control and movement, setting it apart from hydraulic systems used by other robots like Boston Dynamics's Atlas. Standing at 165 centimeters tall and weighing 55 kilograms or 121 pounds, the GR1 can carry up to 50 kilograms or 110 pounds, showcasing remarkable strength in the world of robotics. It's more than just a strong machine. It's designed to assist and care for those in need. One standout feature is the grip handles that resemble those found in rehabilitation centers, highlighting the GR1's potential in caregiving and physical therapy. With electric motors capable of generating generating up to 221 pounds per foot of torque, this humanoid robot can perform tasks like transporting patients between beds and wheelchairs, demonstrating its adaptability and strength. The potential impact of robots like the GR1 on rehabilitation and support is profound, especially as societies grapple with aging populations. These robots could assist in patient transportation, daily activities and provide companionship, easing the burden on healthcare systems and improving the quality of life for many. Korea Intelligence unveiled the GR1 at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in July, where the company was able to demonstrate a range of motion in its bipedal robots, but their humanoid robot still lacked a key component, a brain. For this reason, Furia Intelligence is seeking chatbot partners to give their humanoid robots AI brains. Unlike traditional approaches to robot developments, Furia Intelligence plans to send hardware and software platforms to research and development laboratories, fostering collaboration amongst diverse teams to enhance the GR1's capabilities. This innovative approach could expedite its evolution and open doors to various applications. While the development of humanoid robots is still in its early stages, companies like Furrier Intelligence are pushing boundaries. The convergence of robots and AI, as demonstrated by large language models like ChatGPT, holds promise for future advancements. Furia aims to focus on hardware while collaborating with AI companies for software development, with hopes of mass producing a hundred of the GR1 for fields like elderly care and education by the close of 2023. In the World Robotics Conference 2022 held in Beijing, Chinese exhibitors showcased some remarkable innovations. One of the most notable developments was the rapid growth of the Chinese robotics market. China has been the world's largest consumer of industrial robots for eight consecutive years increasing its domestic production every year. In contrast, the GR1 stands as a testament to the global advancements in robotics. At the exhibition, a wide array of robots were on display, spanning various industries. There were industrial robots, medical robots, robots for logistics, agriculture and construction. The GR1 represents the rehabilitation and support perspective with robots in the medical sector. Among the attractions, Cloud Mines Technologies Cloud Ginger XR1, a 
humanoid service robot stole the show. It boasted 34 smart, flexible joints, making its movement smooth and graceful. With numerous sensors, cameras and microphones, it could interact with its environment. Its applications ranged from education and elderly care to service in the hospitality industry and advertising. In contrast, the GR1 offers similar capabilities, but with different designs and features. EX Robots, a leader in intelligent humanoid robots in China, combined metaverse technology to create the Science and Technology Museum of the Future. They showcased humanoid robots resembling famous figures like Albert Einstein and Teresa Tay. These robots boasted up to 140 degrees of freedom throughout their bodies, creating realistic movements and expressions. They utilized their own robotics operating system, setting a high standard for anthropomorphic robots. In contrast, the GR1 has its unique features but might not reach the same level of human likeness. Direct Drive presented the Diablo, a mobile two-wheeled robot with impressive agility and stability, suitable for various applications. In contrast, the GR1 might not have the same jumping capabilities but offers its own set of unique capabilities. China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation presented the underwater intelligent bionic robot JSY-3, shaped like a featherless porpoise. This robot aimed to popularize scientific achievements and operated underwater for extended periods. By contrast, the GR1 does not venture into underwater environments but excels in other domains like rehabilitation and support. Unitree Robotics showcased a range of robots, including small, medium and large models, all with different applications. These robots were well received, particularly the small ones used in research, education and entertainment. By comparison, the GR1 one is more focused on the health industry and tasks like medical support and caregiving. The GR1 is a testament to the potential of robotics to address real-world challenges and provide support and assistance in ways previously unimaginable. It presents a significant step forward in the field, and while there are hurdles to overcome, it's clear that humanoid robots are on the path to becoming an integral part of our lives. What are your thoughts on the GR1? Which of its counterparts do you think are